Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So in this episode of 5 Minute Java, I'll be going over the random class. So the random class can be used to generate random numbers in Java. So it can be used to generate random integers, floats, longs, and doubles. So really quickly before the video starts, I just want to remind you to subscribe for more Java and programming videos. I'll be making more of these 5 Minute Java videos. So if you want to see those, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do to use the random class is import java.util.capitalRRandom, like that. And now in your class, you can create a new random method. So I'll say random r equals new random, and then open parentheses, close parentheses, and then a semicolon. And there's also other constructors you can use, but this is the most uh, simple one. And now that you've created a new random object, you can use that to generate random numbers. And so now I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to generate a random integer, you would do r.nextInt, and that would create a random integer. If you want to create a, a random integer within a range, then you would do r.nextInt, and then the number you put in, an integer, would be the top bound. That means it would the random integer would be generated from 0 to 99. It wouldn't go to 100 or above. The next thing you can do is double and you do r dot next double and that'll create a random double and then you can also do a long rand long equals r dot next long oh this should be rand double sorry and if you want to do a float you can do float band float equals r dot next float and now I'll print all of these out and now I've added print statements for each of these variables so we can see exactly what they do. So if I were to go ahead and run the program, you can see for my rand int I get a really big negative number. Uh, I don't even know how to look at it properly. So there's three, three, so it'd be negative 1,999,695,594 as my random integer. Uh, this is from a huge negative number all the way to a huge positive number as the bound. And then this here is 8 as my random integer uh, range. And for my double, I have this. My long is this one. And this is my float. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to do a giveaway when I get to 5,000 subscribers, hopefully by the end of this year. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.